Doctors around the world use these endoscopy devices to operate on damaged knees, a high-tech medical tool made by Rudolf Medical Company in Tuttlingen. Yvonne Glinke heads a company that helps promote the regional medtech cluster. She scouts for new markets and makes contacts. One challenge is the U.S. market under President Donald Trump. The companies here are taking the trade barriers in stride that Trump wants to put in their way. Some 400 companies in the Tuttlingen region are focused on exports, and their biggest market is the United States. The Rudolf company is among them. It uses robots to manufacture surgical instruments. These scissors have a special design. They're rust-free and can be mass-produced. More than 70% of them are sold abroad. These scissors were made by Ulrich Rudolf's grandfather more than 100 years ago. Since then, the company has survived many an economic crisis. Today, Rudolf offers some 4,000 different products. Tuttlingen supplies hospitals around the world. If we stopped exporting from the Tuttlingen area, the U.S. would have a big problem. Blocking exports would surely backfire. Technologically, the U.S. is definitely not at the same level as the Tuttlingen area in terms of in-house production of medical technology. 200 kilometers away, the Herrenknecht company is also focused on exports. Herrenknecht builds tunnel boring machines. This one has just been completed and is on its way to the Brenner Pass in Italy. Each tunnel boring machine is one of a kind, made to order for the customer. The U.S. market is promising for Herrenknecht. The country is in need of new roads and tunnels. But for the time being, a maximum of only 10 machines per year make it over to the U.S. Company founder Martin Herrenknecht is constantly on the go, visiting construction sites around the world. If Trump puts up trade barriers, the specialty machines by Herrenknecht will find use elsewhere. Yesterday I flew from San Diego, changed planes in San Francisco, and in 10 hours I was in Germany. But it's not just air travel that has made the world really small. Also, IT networks, computers and cell phones, we're all interlinked. Now there's no going back, even though you might be able to slow it down a bit. But whoever slows down the process loses out. Back in Tuttlingen, the Rudolf company has invited business partners from France and the U.S. to visit its production facilities. They're looking for new collaboration opportunities in Germany. Rudolf exports to 85 countries. Karl Greb traveled here from Minnesota. The German consultant knows the American medical technology market inside and out. Nobody wants protectionism. There are about 700 medical technology firms in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. International companies like 3M, Medtronic, Boston Scientific, St. Jude, all of them operating globally. Not a single firm is interested in isolating itself either within or outside the market. If Donald Trump gets his way, protectionism would disrupt long-established business ties. But people are still remaining calm, at least here in provincial Germany, where exporters value good old-fashioned common sense.